In One Piece, who doesn't love those epic hockey clash or release scenes, black lightning emitting, and animators going all out on the animation? But are all these hockey effects only visible to us audience for visual convenience or is it actually visible to the characters themselves? Because sometimes the animators tend to add stylistic embellishments to certain scenes to make it look more aesthetic, expressive and intense. For example, among the Demon Slayer fandom there is an ongoing debate that all the auras and elemental effects of the breathing techniques are not visible to the characters themselves. The author never stated anything about this, but it's actually very reasonable debate. Since in the Demon Slayer verse, the humans are very limited in terms of power and aren't actually capable of conjuring the actual elements of their breathing technique. But the effects are rather manifestation of their breathing form only visible to us. The same thing can be said about One Piece hockey, unlike for example animes like Naruto or Hunter x Hunter, where the power system is made perfectly clear that it's visible to the characters in the verse. And hockey is a bit ambiguous in terms of visibility compared to Devil Fruit Power in One Piece, which clearly changes something of the user and is visible. Because the root source of hockey is person's willpower, it's mostly mental or rather spiritual. And here's my take on this argument. My take is the middle ground. Some hockey effects are indeed visible to the characters, but some aren't. So let's start with the ones that I think are not visible to the characters. First, hockey manifestation. We've been seeing this style of display of hockey a lot lately in the anime, rarely in the manga, and I think this is invisible. Let's take an example, Garp's galaxy impact. Garp literally conjured a galaxy for a moment before bringing down his nuke on the island. I strongly feel that this wasn't visible to the characters, plus it wasn't in the manga. And Shanks' divine departure conjures up a griffin the mythical creature that's sort of a fusion of lion and an eagle. This was also shown only in the anime. I think this was not visible also. Kid reacted to it, but I don't think he saw the hockey with his eyes, but he rather felt it through his observation hockey. And the scene where Zoro conjures a dragon with his hockey using Odin's sword Enma. This is probably not visible as well. Big Mom only felt its presence, thereby warned Kaido to dodge his attack. And you see we start to see a pattern here, right? Anytime Haki manifests a creature or some other shape, it's not visible. But it's not that simple. There is one manifestation that actually is visible to the characters. It's known that Zoro's Ashura form is actually visible to the characters, as Kaku stated that he saw Zoro take that demon form in Aeneas Lobby arc. Zoro's willpower conquers Haki is so strong that it temporarily creates illusion and manifests him in form of Buddhist wrathful deity called Ashura with three heads and nine arms. Second, it's none other than the black lightning effects. I think you guys know what I'm talking about here. It's perhaps the most shown effect of Haki so far. Mostly conquerors hockey, but not exclusive to it. It's when top tier character releases a hockey or clads arm in hockey or clashes with another great hockey user, a black lightning with red stroke shows up. And it's not only anime effect, in the manga we've also seen this. And depending on the amount of hockey being released, it can reach as far as a couple of kilometers. I'm talking about Shanks' Wi Fi hockey here. I think this effect is not visible because no character ever explicitly said, hey I see lightning emitting from this guy, I think he has powerful hockey. Whenever someone comments on someone's hockey being powerful, it's not through sense of sight but mostly through observation hockey, through mind and body. Now let's start going over the effects that could be visible to the characters. I actually have only one on this list which is advanced arm and hockey and I'm being very specific here. Because basic arm and hockey is not visible when it was first introduced by Rayleigh he described it as invisible armor that you can coat your body with. 
pre time skip arm and hotkeys were all invisible, but only post time skip introduction of advanced arm and hotkey, aka hardening the black coating effects were introduced. Obviously, unless Oda says something else, I could be wrong. Maybe it's also invisible, but I back my argument that it's visible because of the existence of the black blades. Black blades are top grade blades made by top tier swordsmiths and used by top tier swordsmen. These blades aren't forged black originally, but they are turned into black blade over the course of countless battles and hockey infusions of the user. So to conclude the video, I have more on the list that hockey is not visible. But it's still hard to say for me that hockey is invisible. It could be both, really. For example, when character is using observation hockey, hockey is visible. When not using it, it is not. Kind of like Hunter Hunter Nen ability called Gyo, which is an ability to concentrate your Nen to your eyes and see your opponent's Nen materialize. It's basically enhancing the capacity of your eye to a multitude. And lastly, there's an entire separate debate for why pre time skip Aki was never visible to us and to the characters. And there are two possible explanations for that. One, Oda didn't have fully fleshed out concept of hockey. Two, before time skip, from Luffy's point of view, since he didn't know hockey, it was all invisible to him. So we as audience, our point of view is always mostly through Luffy's, therefore we also didn't see. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more contents like these. Cheers.